In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your app to the Apple App Store. So to do that, you want to come down here to your settings and come down to mobile deployment. And this App Store section is what we're looking for. Now, once we're ready to deploy, we just smash this button here. But we need these four pieces of information before we do that. But before we do that, you want to make sure that your app is prepared for deployment. And we've made a video about that that we've linked below. But the most important things to take care of that will prevent your app from being deployed are making sure you have no errors here and making sure you've added in an app launcher icon right here. That's the icon that will show up on the screen of the iPhone when you open the app that you press to open the app. OK, so let's go back over to mobile deployment and let's get this stuff and we're going to get it from two places your Apple developer account and the App Store Connect. So first, your developer account. Now, you have to sign up for an Apple developer account here and then purchase a membership. That's $99 for the year. So once you've done that, let's jump in there. Now, what we're going to need in here is an app ID, an identifier. And identifiers are used to provide a unique ID, just like a user in an app has a unique ID. And you create one by this plus sign right here. Now, when you're making an app, there's a bunch of different things that need IDs, unique identities. So each app has its own identifier. But also, if you have services like sign in with Apple, that service has an identifier. Or if you're using Apple Maps, you'll need an ID for that. But we just need an app ID so we can continue. This is going to be for an app, so that's great. Then we just need to fill out a description and give it a bundle ID. Now, there's a naming convention that you can see down here, and we're going to grab ours from in Flutterflow. So let's go jump over there. If you come to app details, it's this package name that you want to grab. So copy that and paste it in. Next, if you're using any of these capabilities, you want to make sure those are selected. It's pretty common that you won't use any, so don't be concerned if you don't select any. The most common capabilities are push notifications or sign in with Apple. But of course, that's only if you have that in your app. Then just continue. If everything is good, then you register. And there it is. Great. All right. Now we're ready to jump over into App Store Connect. All right. Now that we've created a unique ID for our app, we're ready to create our app in App Store Connect. So let's jump over there. Now, of course, we're not creating our app because that's what we did in Flutterflow. We're creating this app with its configuration in App Store Connect, and then Flutterflow will send our apps code over here to this app we've set up. OK, so come over to my apps, come over to the plus sign to create a new app. And this is going to iOS and give it a name, primary language and bundle ID. That's that ID we just created. And finally, a SKU. You can just use your package name and full access is good. If you're not seeing it, you can just refresh your page and then it should come in and you can click into it. All right, so we're finally ready to get the information we need. And to get it, you can come over to app information and scroll down and you want this Apple ID here. It's also in the URL. So you can grab it in either place and just copy it and go back into Flutterflow. OK, great. So we come to mobile deployment and paste it into this app ID. Now, if you're wondering, wait, I thought we already had an ID. What's this other ID? Well, in the context of App Store Connect, the Apple ID is a unique identifier for your app on the App Store, whereas the app ID we created at first, also called a bundle ID, is used during the development and distribution process of your app. OK, great. Next, we need to get some keys. And we need to do that because these will be keys we give to Flutterflow so that it's authorized to send your app into App Store Connect here. And we can do this by coming into users and access right here. And we want to come over to keys here. Now, if you haven't added a key before, you're going to see this request access and request access, accept those terms and generate API key. And you can just give it a name here. I'm going to just call it Flutterflow Deploy so I know what this is doing and give it the access of App Manager. That gives it the correct permissions and generate. All right, next, you want to download that key. And it's going to tell you here that it can only be downloaded once. So if you lose it, you're going to have to make another one. OK, download. Now, before we go back into Flutterflow, copy this issuer ID so we can kill two birds with one stone. OK, now we're ready to go back. So you can paste in this issuer ID and upload this private key that we just downloaded. Awesome. Finally, we need this key ID, which is in that same place in App Store Connect. So let's jump over there. And that's this right here. So copy 
copy that and paste it in. Beautiful. And that's it. We are ready to deploy to the App Store. Now, keep in mind that deploying to the App Store means sending our app into App Store Connect. It's not actually publishing the app for the public. We'll need to do a few more things after we deploy it to App Store Connect. So we can deploy it now. So Flutterflow is just going to tell you that if we were in the process of deployment before, it will cancel that deployment and start a new one. Okay. Now, what's going to happen now is that Flutterflow is going to generate your code and then send it over. And this can take a little time, and it's dependent upon the size and complexity of your project and how busy the servers are behind the scenes. Now, you can click on this button to see the build status, and we can see that it's queued. That means it's in the process of generating our code and sending it over. You can keep checking here, or Apple will send you an email when it receives your app. So go grab a cup of coffee, and I'll see you when it's ready. All right, and there it is. It's finished. Great. Let's go take a look at it. So if I go back in my apps, and there it is, but it doesn't have that launcher icon. And that's because we haven't associated that build with this project yet. It's just sitting in there. So let's do that. So if you scroll down, you have this add build section. So let's add it. And there it is. And we can see our icon. So let's select it and accept. So there it is. It's linked up. Now, there's a lot of other information in here that you need to add in, like screenshots and description and copyright and tons of other stuff. So you want to go through here and go through all of these down here to fill out all the information for your app. Now, for these screenshots, remember that Flutterflow has a screenshot generator. And we covered that in prepping your app for mobile deployment video. But very quickly, you can access that here. If you go into preview mode right here, and turn on screenshot mode. Use the drop down here and select which screenshots you want to generate. And for any dynamic data, you'll need to add that in too. Okay, let's jump back over to Apple Connect. Now, once all that's done, you want to click save and add for review. And Apple will review your app, and if they accept it, then you'll be able to publish it. Now, if you want to have people to test your app before you launch it, you want to come over here to Test Flight. Test Flight is an app that users can install and then download your app once you've given them access through their email. It gives them access to your app before it launches on the App Store. So you want to create a group and we can just call it testers. Now, by default, you're sent into internal testing. That's people who have access to your App Store Connect account. But often you'll want external testing. So you can go create a group there, create, scroll down and add testers. And you could import them from a CSV or just individually add them. And then add a build and accept this build. And whether you want your testers to require a sign in, you can add that here. Here, you can give a message to your users and submit for review. And now your test users will receive an email to download Test Flight and then download your app. And that's how to deploy your Flutterflow app to the Apple App Store.